بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome dear viewers to our program the virtues of Islam where we discuss Islam's qualities that bring goodness security tranquility to those who practice Islam correctly. Previously, we were talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love for this religion and his completeness of the favor of his favor to us uh, in this religion. And that's through the verse, And this verse, it says, today or this day, uh, I have completed my ni'mah to you and completed my favor to you and I am pleased with Islam as a religion for you. How does Allah SWT love the religion? There are hadith that show that Allah SWT loves the religion and the type of religion that he loves the best. The Messenger of Allah SWT explained this when he said, he said that the most beloved religion to Allah is the Hanafi to Samha, the easy and tolerant religion of monotheism. The Prophet said that Allah loves this the best. And there are two words in this hadith that we want to be aware of. We want to stop and focus upon. The first word is the word Hanifiya. The word Hanifiya is derived from the word Al Hanif, which means to bond or means to bend or to turn away. This religion is called Hanifiya because it turns away from every deviant path which is not religious to the path that is pleasing to Allah. It turns away from what is known as in Islam as shirk, polytheism, paganism. And it turns toward tawheed, which is monotheism, the oneness of Allah. And away from the practice of shirk toward the practice of tawheed. Along with carrying the meaning of turning toward the proper aqidah, Hanifiyah also carries a meaning regarding the legislation. Here again, in the beginning of our program, we said we'd be speaking of two things, the way we believe, the way we apply our beliefs. So it also, Hanifiyah also carries a meaning regarding legislation of turning away from vanity and lust toward the path of following the sunnah and remaining upright. Vanity, which is known as hawa in Islam, is when someone knows the truth but doesn't want to follow it and would prefer to follow their own desires. So this vanity and lust, Hanifiyah means a person is leaving that and turning toward the sunnah and remaining upright. The word samha, because the Prophet Muhammad said that the most loved, the beloved religion to Allah is the Hanifiyah to samha, the word samha means easy and tolerant. The intended meaning of the author is to show that Allah has bestowed upon this ummah, the Muslim nation, an easy and monotheistic religion as opposed to a harsh religion that has many burdens upon it and many shackles upon those who practice it. Allah says, وَمَا جَعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الدِّينِ مِنْ حَرَجْ مِنَتَ أَبِيكُمْ إِبْرَاهِيمُ 
هو سماكم المسلمين من قبل and he has not laid upon you in the religion any hardship it is the religion of your father Abraham meaning Tawheed and it is he meaning Allah who named you Muslims also Allah says about the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Quran وَيَدْعُ عَنْهُمْ أَصْرَهُمْ وَأَغْلَالَ تِكَانَتْ عَلِيهِمْ And he releases them from the heavy burdens and from the bindings that were upon them. Allah has lightened the religious rules and responsibilities of this ummah until it has become easy. We don't escape the religion. We practice it. We're not trying to say there's no practice. We practice. But Allah has lightened the religious rules and responsibilities of this ummah until it has become easy to do. Its acts of worship are easy. From this ease has come principles of sharia, such as there is no obligation without the ability to accomplish something. That's a rule in sharia. A person cannot accomplish something that the obligation is not there. There is no prohibition in an emergency. This is a translation of some of the Sharia principles. In an emergency, you can't prohibit something that is ordinarily prohibited if you have an emergency. Hardship brings about ease. If something is really hard on a person, then ease may be gotten. This religion has in it ease to the point that Allah does not hold this ummah accountable for what its people say to themselves as long as they do not act upon it or speak of it. This is only for the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the authentic hadith, in Allah tajawaza the ummati ma hadithat bihi nafsaha ma lim tikandamu aw ya'amalu bihi. Verily Allah forgave my people the evil promptings which arise within their hearts as long as they do not speak of them or do not act upon them. This ease is another indication of the great, uh, 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 the great virtue of Islam whereby if a person enters it, and holds on to it properly, that person will achieve these great favors and will get the light and the reward by entering this ummah. All of this goodness comes along with the fact that its rules are easy and the deeds that accompany these rules are simple. This is the most loved description of Islam to Allah. al hanifiya as samha the more a deed is legislated, the easier the command of Allah is regarding that deed. Special must, consideration must be given to a point here. And that point is, the issue of religious ease is understood in various ways by various people. Therefore, it is necessary to restrict the concept of religious leniency as it applies to the religion that pleases Allah. So the leniency that we have is a leniency that pleases Allah and it must be restricted to that. We don't invent our own leniency. The concept of ease in religious and practice is understood from two aspects. The first one is the easiness has to be found in the text of the legislation. The Quran or the Sunnah. Therefore, if the ease of a deed is found in the Quran or in the Sunnah, then it is loved by Allah. If the ease is found in the Quran and the Sunnah, it is loved by Allah. If a person makes wudu and puts on his socks, at the beginning of the day, 
with the need to wipe over them for the whole day, that deed, because it can be proven by the sunnah, that deed is loved by Allah. Another example, breaking the fast in the daylight hours of Ramadan because of travel. Shortening the prayer during travel. The reason is the travel. And the wisdom behind it is that it is easier to do it that way. This is love by Allah. The ease and leniency in another aspect of how we get ease and leniency, the ease and leniency in a ruling has been confirmed by a scholarly imam or a scholar of fiqh who is qualified to verify the ease of a ruling by the, by the application of the principles of sharia. They can apply it by the principles of sharia. Not everyone can do that. The principles such as hardship brings about ease. Harm must be removed, as well as other principles. Hence, if a ruling is found to have ease within it by a scholar of fiqh, through his correct application of the principles of sharia, of removing hardship, this is to be considered as the most loved description of religion to Allah. It is more beloved to Allah than being harsh. This concept is expressed by Sufyan authority. May Allah have mercy upon him when he said, إِنَّمَا الْعِلْمُ عِنْدَنَا الْرُخْصَ مِنْ ثِقَةٍ فَأَمَّا تَشْدِيدُ فَيُحْسِنُهُ كُلُّ أَحَدٍ Knowledge to us is a concession from a trustworthy scholar who knows, who follows the text of the Quran and the Sunnah. As for being rigid, everyone is good at that. This statement is correct. If a concession comes from a scholar of fiqh through textual evidence or through the proper application, of sharia our principles, it constitutes what Allah loves. And it shows how Allah has distinguished this ummah with virtue. Anyone who examines the rulings of Islamic legislation will find that it's built upon ease and built upon tolerance. The rulings regarding purification, types of water, eating utensils, the salah, the payment of zakah, fasting and hajj, as well as rulings regarding social interaction, and every other ruling is built upon ease and tolerance. The easier a situation is, the more beloved it is by Allah. Therefore, it is mandatory upon the servant to like and prefer the easier of two affairs if they are presented to him. This was the way of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu said to them, if he was presented with two situations, he always chose the easier one if there was no sin involved. An Aisha radiallahu anha, annaha qalit, ma khuyira Rasulullah Sallallahu wa sallam bayna amrain, إلا أخذ أيسرهما ما لم يكن إثما فإن كان إثما كان أبعد الناس منه وما أنتقم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لنفسه إلا أن تنتحك حرمة الله فينتقم لله بها عائشة رضي الله عنها ناردة الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا كان يكون إثما إذا كان يكون إثما إذا كان يكون إثما that he would choose the easier of the two, as long as there was no sin involved. But if it was sinful to do so, he, so the Lord never said, would not approach it. The easy and tolerant religion includes rulings of application as well as regarding belief. Here again, belief and application. 
So the ease and tolerance in the religion, it includes belief. The easiness of the rulings of belief are obvious because Islam is the religion of fitrah. It's the religion of the human nature. And the Messenger of Allah said, said kulukum, kulukum ala fitrah. Everybody was born upon the fitrah to recognize that the Creator is one and to worship the Creator as one. Fitrah means a natural disposition of human beings toward it, tawheed. The belief of al Islam aren't built upon complicated concepts, but built upon a concept that everyone can understand. They're not built upon rhetoric, and they're not built upon philosophical discussions that no one except, the, except a group, a small group of people can understand. Rather, it's for the world. That anybody can understand these concepts. Everyone understands Islam from its simple expression. Therefore, if Tawheed is explained to someone and some of the rules are clarified, a person understands them because they are simple. They're not complicated. They're not rhetorical. They're not philosophical. Therefore, um, someone who had not studied these rules of philosophy or the rules of, uh, of uh, metaphysics, he will just rely upon what he has studied or read in the Quran and the Sunnah because those other rules are necessary to practice. They aren't necessary to understand. It's not complicated. That which is appropriate for, for people is the easy and tolerant monotheism. This is appropriate to understand, and this is what Allah SWT loves. From the Shoja Media Corporation, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.